sponsor. Hey, Bjorn Orange here. I just wanted to talk about our show's sponsor today, Dastard Chef. If you're anything like me, you're busy. I mean, real busy. Busy, 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 busy. You're drinking coffee, you're listening to a shitload of podcasts, probably too many podcasts. You're researching earbuds, you're looking up photos of William Cat from The Greatest American Hero to see if the guy at Home Depot was onto anything when he claimed you looked just like him before he snapped his selfie with you. You're researching any Ho Chi Minh's that may be of Scandinavian heritage because a guy at the restaurant in Hanoi where you live just proclaimed with reverence that your shoulder length blonde hair makes you the spitting image of Ho Chi Minh. I only know of one Ho Chi Minh at this point in time. I don't see the resemblance myself. I'm thinking there must be another in Sweden, I think, possibly Norway. You get my point. You're busy, but you know from real life experience that a diet of daily microwave burritos is not a great long-term health plan. You have also been informed that a grilled cheese sandwich cannot be made properly in a microwave. In fact, it has been concluded on numerous occasions by many parties that your culinary prowess is suspect. So what are you going to do? You don't have the time nor the skills to feed yourself like a healthy adult is expected to in the modern era. Don't worry. Now there is Dastard Chef. Dastard Chef is not like all the meal kit delivery services that you're always hearing about, especially as podcast sponsors. You know the ones that I'm talking about. Blue Apron, Hello Fresh, Sun Basket, Smells Like Tuscany, Dave's Meal Kit Delivery Service, or Yum Yum in Your Tum Tum. Dastard Chef is completely different. Sure, there are some similarities. Dastard Chef has many meal options, just like all the rest. But with Dastard Chef, there isn't six meal plans. It's limitless. Whatever meal plan you desire or need, it's possible. Guaranteed. Omnivore? Sure. Organic? Of course. Paleo? Microbiotic, Atkins, Kimkins, Ketogenic, Dukin, Vegetarian, Lacto-Vegetarian, Ovo-Vegetarian, Ovo-Lacto-Vegetarian, Semi-Vegetarian, Pescatarian, Fruititarian, Kangatarian, Breatharian, Vegan, Raw, Plant-Based, of course, Low-Carb, Low-Carbon, Low-Glycemic, Low-Sodium, Low-Sulfur, Low-Taste, Low-Fat, Ultra-Low-Fat, Super-Ultra-Low-Fat, Low-Calorie, No-Calorie, Negative-Calorie, Gluten-Free, Gluten-Only, Diet, diabetic, elemental, elimination, fasting, juice, liquid, alkaline, food only, popcorn only, cookies only, caffeine only, cocaine only, Stillman, zone, eat clean, blood type, hay, grapefruit and cottage cheese, always a winner, high protein, high residue, high fiber, high fidelity, high infidelity, South Beach, Scarsdale, Mediterranean, Okinawa, Shangri-La, Sonoma, Prison, Star Wars, Star Trek, Marvel, Disney, Buddhist, Hindu, Islamic, Atheist, Kosher. You can even have completely agnostic meal kits. Anything you want is possible. Anything. So, 
here's how it works. Go to our show links and click on the Dastard Chef tab. Then download the Dastard Chef app to your phone. It's that simple. No credit card or personal information needed. Then next time you desire a hand in the kitchen, just open the app and hit send Dastard Chef. That's all you need to do. Using your GPS location, the closest personal Dastard Chef will be in your home in minutes. Then, together, you will check your pantry for ingredients. Dastard Chef will make suggestions, sometimes very stern suggestions, but most of the time, you will be allowed to make your own decisions. Over the next 30 to 45 minutes, your personal Dastard Chef will breathe heavily down your neck in a menacing manner, prodding you to make a delicious meal. Dastard Chef will not lift one finger. You will have the joy of making the meal completely yourself with ingredients that you already have in your home. But Dastard Chef will not stop there. Now that the meal is complete, Dastard Chef will sit down with you and you will enjoy that meal together. I mean, who wants to eat alone, right? Dastard Chef is there for you. Afterwards, while you clear the table, Dastard Chef will go take a shower. By the time you are done with the dishes, Dastard Chef will be snuggled up on your couch in a robe watching your TV. Soon, Dastard Chef will be sound asleep. You two might even decide to enjoy breakfast together the next day. Dastard Chef is always ready to help you cook your own meal with your own ingredients for you and Dastard Chef to eat. If you sign up today, you will get an exclusive upgrade to the Super Plant. As the name indicates, it is super and it takes a little bit more planning, but it's well worth it. With Super Plan, surprise, Dastard Chef will send you a list of very specific ingredients and then you will have exactly one hour to purchase the ingredients, return home, and start cooking. Dastard Chef will be right there on your couch when you arrive, ready to force you into becoming the culinary artist that you have always wanted to be. Wow, no traditional meal kit service does that. Get started today and make sure to mention this isn't just a cult at checkout. Dastard Chef, making you make the meals. Okay, let's get on with the show. I used to live in Tanzania. I lived in Kilimanjaro region in a little village on the slopes of the mountain itself. I didn't plan that. I mean, I did not have that intention. I didn't wake up one morning and say, you know what? I'm moving to a small village on the slopes of Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. But that is where it was determined that I needed to be. So I was there for two years without internet and some pretty unreliable electricity. It was beautiful. From my house on Mount Kilimanjaro, I could see an equally spectacular peak called Mount Meru. There were tons of fantastic birds, and bush babies ate coffee beans from the trees that surrounded my house and got all jacked up and bounced off the tin roof of my house all night long. The people of Tanzania are very warm and inviting. They are really big on greetings. It isn't just, hi, it's, hello, how's your morning, how's your family, your house, your work. It takes time to get through the list especially when your Swahili is pretty weak. I wasn't used to this when I moved there. Sometimes new cultures can be annoying, even when they're just being friendly. I gradually learned to really appreciate it. The greetings are an acknowledgement of your existence. I see you there, five-year-old girl. And you too, teacher. And you, farmer. And you, grandfather. I want to know how you are. I want you to know that I see you. You matter. Don't worry. I have all the time in the world. You can always get more time. Time just keeps coming. Indeed, without a car, a bicycle, much electricity, or the internet, sometimes I had a lot of time. Sure, household chores took more time, of course, because there was no refrigerator or a washing machine. That was fine. My imagination was around, I wrote, I read hundreds of books, 
and I drew and painted and created. It was really fantastic. Recently, I discovered a letter I wrote to my friend Alex, who was also living in Tanzania at the time. Since I actually recorded the piece while on the slopes of Kilimanjaro in my little cement ranch house with a tin roof, I can play it for you now. I didn't have much of a studio there, so I apologize for the sound quality. Enjoy. Alex, as I write this music, the date is the year of our Lord. Well, who has time for that? Of course, when I state our Lord, I mean the Lord that you and I seem to be the only ones who are aware of. To be clear for anyone who might be reading this that is not authorized to view, I mean the Lord who invented spitting, and then, finding nothing to spit upon, created stink eye, commonly known as Jupiter, which necessitated the creation of a whole bunch of other stuff. For example, the universe. I mean, the Lord that spawned Alexander the Great, who originated electricity by clapping his hands to the pulsating rhythm of Blue Oyster called Godzilla over the throbbing womb of a virginal yet pregnant centurion stormtrooper. Yes, surprising yet true. I mean, the Lord that manufactured the most delicious alcoholic beverages by the mere wink of his eye, despised the cleaning of cheese graters, heralded the extra point in American football before American football had ever been dreamt of by mere mortals. I should point out that after the actual invention of American football, he recanted his endorsement upon seeing how mortals had screwed the idea up so severely. I mean, the Lord that sang a song so tragic and true that it could not be sung by even Vic Chestnut or Father John Misty. Certainly, these are but a few of the great and numerous endeavors of wonder that were the results of our Lord's efforts. Alas, he is the one true Lord, the Lord that we know of as Mike. Anyway, to my original point. A while back, I made a supply run into Boma and Dombe, arriving by Dala Dala after the usual Tembea Shuka to Tarmac. I noticed a building commotion and general brouhaha from the one eye that could still sense visual stimulus after second eye was subjugated to the gauntlet of adjoining farmer's armpit, and despite the obvious impairment one encounters upon one's open ocular when impaled by Shamba stank. Although, it should be stated that said gentleman was of the most pleasant quality in every other manner. The congregation seemed abnormal and I prepared for all possibilities I could conjure as I departed highest. It was then that I noticed a large Castle Milk Stout banner welcoming all to the 73rd International World Global Putt-Putt and Mini Golf Championships. It was true. Astonishingly, the entire municipality had been transformed into a fair to middling miniature golf emporium. Everywhere I looked, lederhosen, kilts, skullcaps, and indeed ass-clad warriors of the synthetic turf carried prize clubs of distinction, gold-plated, titanium-shafted, elf-constructed weapons of physics aggravating unholiness abounded to Shoto na Kulia. It was surely a sight to behold. The atmosphere was genuinely electric as I maneuvered past dwarf windmills, suspended candy canes, and Viking battleships rocking on plasticine waves that dared would-be foes to lose their life savings on Callaway balls, taken hostage and disemboweled by razor-sharp slicing oars. Just past the erupting volcano that spewed actual and truly maiming lava chunks, in addition to an ashen haze that did wonders to reinvigorate the local gas mask market, which is usually quite slow slow on Saturdays. The market is much bigger in Sanya and Ju on the weekends. I finally reached the Sukoni where the prices on Nanasi to Limbu had increased 20-fold. By the way, I mean, jumping Mike on a goddamn pogo stick, fuck, have I mentioned that Boma is not my practical banking town? Really, this is just an aside, but there is no NBC in Boma. There was, but it got towed away. And I cannot bear the possibilities of problematic situations that might occur from a transfer to NMB. 
any hoot, or hoot nanny, as the case may be. There I was, stymied like a locksmith that never went to vocational school and still owes too large in a Dodge Neon that hasn't done an honest day's work since Ot 5. Thank you, Lowry Jim, my mechanic who couldn't tell the difference between a plug chute and a war pound if both were swimming in his bathtub. Well, it was right there and then that it hit me. The backstroke of a refuge Maasai clubber. It was an epiphany. Always on the lookout for a good secondary project, it occurred to me. Mini donuts, cheese curds, cotton candy, giant pretzels, pork chops on a stick. That is where the action is. Look, we were never never informed of all the worldwide conventions that are held here in rural upcountry. Since learning about the mini golf championships, my research has uncovered events such as the African Synchronized Swimming Championships in Karatu, the biannual waffle cook-off of Arusha, and the Who Can Throw a Used Tire the Farthest contest of Sadala. Here's the thing about all these important social gatherings. They are missing proper concessions. Sure, carrots, cassava, and corn abound just like any other weekend, but the real juice is in the state fair fair. So here's the rub. I mean, elixir of satisfaction or balm of penetration as you prefer. Ven and I are all in. We are currently in the process of investing all of our stateside funds and extra shilingi in the burgeoning concession market. We already have a hot dog rotisserie machine that is solar powered with an optional picky picky conversion cog in case of rain. To be honest, we still have not located buns or mustard, but that is not the point. Next, we have our eye on a Bulgarian-made 1962 Ting Ting Pop Pop maker that works like a charm, according to the guy we met over the last break when we were in Yemen. He guarantees us a good price, quick transport as well. Apparently, his brother works for Somalia Air and makes frequent flights from Damascus, where he's currently located. And he comes all the way to Boma. What the fuck? Oh, in case you were unaware, Ting Ting Pop Up is like popcorn, but it has a beer battered veal or squid center. I'm thinking we could use goat chunks or snot instead. What do you say? Are you in? We could use a partner. I remember you always saying how much you would love working with your hands to snatch lots of money. Yours truly, in the name of Mike and Money, Bjorn. As you might have figured out, I was making and consuming a lot of wine when I wrote that letter. It was homemade wine. Mangoes, bananas, a five-gallon bucket, some water, and a yeast packet. Wait a couple of weeks, and boom! Really disgusting wine. I don't really recommend it. And what about Alex, you ask? Alex Stemper responded to the letter. I guess he really wasn't interested in business opportunities. <laughs> You have been listening to This Isn't Just a Cult, a work of real fiction. This episode was written by myself, Bjorn Orange. I also did the production. Featured music in this episode included, in order of appearance, The Bell and the Bull Maverick by Bjorn Orange, which contains a description of a maverick by Michael Paternetti from his excellent book, Driving Mr. Albert. Seriously, it's a great book. You should go pick it up. Quixotic Demagogue and Jingoistic Juggernaut were also in there by Squinting Matador. A Letter to Alex by Bjorn Orange. What you're listening to right now is Take That, also by Bjorn Orange. Music from our constellation of artists, 
can be found at Bandcamp, Spotify, Deezer, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and just about any other place you get your listening pleasures. This Isn't Just a Cult is a production of Higgins Turner Higgins, LLC. Subscribing and reviews are greatly appreciated. You can support this podcast at thisisn'tjustacult.com under the podcast tab. If you have been listening to this odd little podcast and have a thought or two, we would love to hear from you. Send us an email through our website or at thisisn'tjustacult at gmail.com. How about one more track? Here's something else I recorded while on the slopes of Kilimanjaro. This is called Just You and Me, and it is on my album, Dasters, which is, again, available everywhere. Thank you for listening.